So I had a comment on my previous video that had a solution to the YouTube viewing on your internet browser problem. Um, and I know a lot. Of, this is a feature a lot of you would probably like, so I'm going to show you how to do that right quick. So we're going to boot up the internet browser, and once you get that booted, um, you can actually go to youtube.com slash html5. You can see it up there in the browser. It's like right there. Yes, there it is. Okay, so anyway, you'll notice this button down here that says request html5 player. You're going to hit that, and it should switch from that to, say, use the default player. So the HTML5 player is currently used when possible. Great. Perfect. Once you do that, you can go to YouTube. And we'll just pick this one right quick because it's on the front page. And no more missing plug-in logo. And it boots right up into the video. So... Another thing that the, this user uh, suggested was to use this page on your TV browser. It's youtube.com slash TV. And apparently it actually gives you a much bigger view. Everything's really made for TV in this case. And I'm going to hit the square button to actually set it up in full screen. You can see YouTube trends, uh, music... Gaming, of course, sports, film, all the different categories, YouTube Spotlight, you can search, sign in, and view your stuff. If you have an iPhone, you can actually go to Pair Device, and you can start the video on your iPhone or whatever mobile device you have, really. Um, I just have an iPhone, so it's second nature to say that. And pair it, and whatever video you start playing on your mobile device will actually play on the TV instead really cool um, and then let's see what else we've got here and that's about it really but seriously yeah you just tap that oops and it starts playing full screen and everything it's really nice actually so if you're going to be watching YouTube videos on your, on your PS4 browser, I really recommend using YouTube.com slash TV and refer back to the earlier part of the video where I explained how to get the HTML5 player. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.